Hey Brick Kids, Scott with 36 Bricks here, and we are taking a look at the Lego Harry Potter Hagrid's Hut Buckbeats Rescue, set number 75947. 496 pieces, comes with six minifigures and an amazing Buckbeat. Uh, so let's take a look at the minifigures and we will get into the set. Alright guys, so first things first, Hagrid. This is an amazing minifigure. Now, have to be honest, this is uh, not a minifigure that we have not seen before, but nevertheless, it is an amazing um, minifigure. Or, I, it's almost a medium fig instead of a big fig or, um, or minifig. So it is larger than most, which is great. I love the hair and all of that. Now, granted, it is something that we have seen in the past. Uh, I believe <coughs> we've seen it with uh, like a stranded, um, uh, a person stranded on an island or something like that. But ultimately, it is actually an amazing hair piece. I really love it. Uh, you get some really great detail on the jacket, the inner jacket, uh, and the shirt, as well as the belt. Now on the sides, we also have uh, pockets, which is fantastic pop-outs of that minifigure. So I'm really excited about that. Now, the part that I'm not really excited about is, quite frankly, the back. I wish there was a little bit more pleating or something like that. They spent so much time on and detail on the front and the sides that I just kind of wish they had wrapped it around and, made, and finished it in the back. Now we pop this up, and no uh, alternate uh, facial expression. Um, however, I do understand because if you really look at his face, you can't much really see a different expression anyway. So, totally makes sense. You can't see uh, any kind of uh, smile or anything like that, uh, so it makes sense. He comes with a lantern, which is an amazing piece. I love that part. Uh, and all in all, amazing medium fig. I'll call it a medium fig. <laughs> Second figure we have is... The Executioner. So this is a great minifigure uh, in so many ways. So as you can see, he comes with uh, this nice uh, little uh, axe um, for chopping heads off uh, and executioning, uh, if that's a word. Uh, it, it incorporates a regular axe blade as well as a uh, ice skating rink uh, or ice skating blade. Um, and then the pole itself. I really like how they built it. It really looks awesome. Uh, continuing on with the minifigure, I know it's a little hard to see, but there are some details in here. Uh, I just wish they would highlight it more, make it uh, the, the coloring pop a little bit more uh, on that, um, but that is just my opinion. Uh, you're dealing with a sleeveless wonder here, uh, showing off the gun show. Uh, with black gloves, so that's awesome. You get a little bit of detail on the back of the torso. Uh, coming around to the front, uh, you do have some uh, good detail on the legs, but again, I wish that would pop a little bit more as uh, it is a little hard to see. Um, it does come with a very cool hood, which you can pop off, and then there is some detail in the back. 
Now, I'm going to be honest with you. The detail in the back really doesn't make sense because you'll never see it. Um, even if you did pop off the hood, uh, it just kind of looks weird, to be honest. Uh, but he does have a great mask um, on his face. So I'm really excited about that. So all in all, great minifigure, good detail. I just wish it would pop just a little bit more. All right, guys, so here we have the Minister of Magic. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the bowler hat. I love the bowler hat. It reminds me of Meet the Robinsons. Um, but I'm going to take this off just for the sake of showing off the minifigure because it is a little dark there. Uh, so going around the minifigure, the front, it does have some great uh, detail on the front of the torso. Uh, as you can see here, we have a uh, button-up um, or a jacket with a button-up vest, as well as a white button-up shirt and a dark green tie. I love the fact that they added those layers. I wish it would pop a little bit more, but ultimately I do love how it looks. Coming around the back, you do have some pleating on the back, which is amazing. Unfortunately, you do not have an alternate face, but because he is wearing a bowler hat, if you did have an alternate face, it would look really, really weird. Uh, so ultimately it does, um, it does make sense that there's no additional expression. Uh, I just wish his expression was a little bit better. I do understand that he is unhappy with having to visit Buckbeat, um, and make the decision, um, to kill Buckbeat in the movie and in the book. However, uh, I just wish it was a little bit better of an expression. All in all, great minifigure, really good detail. All right, third minifigure, or fourth minifigure of the bunch, we have Hermione. Uh, I really love the detail on this, uh, to be honest. Uh, great uh, little hoodie jacket. Um, you can see the necklace, the time necklace that she has uh, right there, which is awesome. Which is awesome. Uh, if you really take a look at this, Honestly, I will say that if I didn't know this was Hermione, I couldn't tell that this was Hermione, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. <coughs> yes, it does uh, represent the uh, character in the movie and all that. However, uh, the good part is that uh, if I didn't know it, it would be a totally different minifigure, which means you can place it around uh, your city without issues. Um, so you can add that minifigure into any set that you want. Coming around the back, the hair piece is really nice. I love how they have the detail. Uh, it's a little hard to see, but it's actually extremely textured. Um, and, and the hair is really, really layered. She got her hair did that night. Um, uh, so that is awesome. I love this hair piece. Popping this off, she does have a, a different expression, which is great because I ended up picking up two of these sets, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. Uh, but with that, you can literally have more than one around your city and have it still look great. So I am excited for that. Uh, as you can see, there is pleating on the back of the torso to give her a little bit of shape, as well as uh, to show the fabric flowing. All in all, I really like this minifigure. Uh, I will say it's a little bit generic, but that can be a good thing and a bad thing. Good thing for me, because like I said, if I get more than one of these sets, and I have, uh, you, of course, uh, get to place her around the city without fail. So that is awesome stuff. Uh, <clears throat> second to last, but certainly not least, we have... Ron Weasley, great little ha uh, red hair with great texture. Really love that. Uh, some pretty good detail. I will say it is a little bit generic, but again, we're talking about kids. And again, if you take this and um, uh, get more than one, you can place this minifigure throughout the city, and uh, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't make any difference. Um, the only thing that really showcases that this is Ron is, of course, the red hair. But, you know, 5% of the population or 10% of the population have red hair anyway. So um, so there you have it. Um, so, again, good detail as far as the pleating um, showing fabric. Going around to the back, it has that as well. And then we lift up the hair. And as you can see, we have another facial expression. So, again, really good thing there. That way, if you wanted to place it around your city, you are more than welcome to. Last but certainly not least, 
Harry Potter. Great minifigure overall. Um, I actually love this minifigure uh, for uh, more than one reason. Uh, the hair, for whatever reason, looks different to me. It looks it looks j like very very dark black versus uh, I believe the character's hair is more uh, dark brown. So I would have rather had dark brown hair than um, black hair. Uh, it just seems too dark for me. Uh, but I I understand because um, if you if you look at if you look at the character here, he obviously has brown hair. So seeing that this has black hair, uh, it's a little off-putting, um, but I get it. It makes sense for the build itself. Uh, but like I said, I just wish this was brown hair instead of jet black hair. I love this torso. It is very basic. Uh, you got navy blue shirt with light blue or medium blue shirt underneath, uh, which is really great. It is a little hard to see, but you do have pleating in the back. I wish that popped a little bit more, but for those of you that are uh, wondering, uh, my sig fig has this torso. So this is my favorite torso out of all of everything. Uh, I, I, I have a sweater that looks just like that, as well as a shirt that looks just like that. And uh, I, of course, have pants and shorts that look like those. So uh, I really like that. Just switch out the face. Uh, put something that somewhat resembles me and then have gray hair and there you go that's me in a nutshell so I really love this torso uh, like I said it is my sig fig torso uh, so uh, I am always happy to get more of those <coughs> All in all, I do wish there was a little bit of detail or something on the, the pants or the legs, but I get it. Um, it's, it's, it's very basic. So the good, a good part about that is, again, put my face on it or something like that or change up the face at all, and you can throw it without, throughout your city. Coming around to the back, we do have an additional facial feature, um, which is great. Now, again, for whatever reason, these minifigures, the eyes, are they're just popping out as not normal to me. I don't know what it is. Again, tell me in the comments below if you agree or disagree. Uh, but for whatever reason, something with the eyes on all of these minifigures or all of these newer minifigures that are coming out, they, they're just not, they're looking different. All right, guys, so... The prized possession of this set, at least in my eyes, is this Buckbeat. I, so the moment I saw this, I knew I wanted him for my zoo. And sure enough, I built him a cage or, or a enclosure for the zoo. Uh, I picked up two of these sets. Uh, one of the reasons being is because of this Buckbeat. I really love what they've done with this. Uh, the little small build to add his wings. Uh, he's got glowing eyes, which is just mesmerizing. Uh, I mean, I know that it's essentially just a horse, but uh, they do have different claws on the front, which is awesome. Uh, I really like what they did with that. Uh, overall, I really love this uh, this creature. I mean... Like I said, I picked up two of these sets mainly because I wanted two of the Buckbeats as well as uh, the parts that are in it. Uh, but, I mean, this is just a magnificent creature. I really love uh, the mold, the textures of the hair. I wish maybe there was a little bit more texture in his uh, torso or body. Uh, <coughs> but all in all, again, I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Let's check out the set itself. All right, guys. So taking a look at the set, we are going to actually look at the pumpkin patch that they've put together here. It is actually a really cool pumpkin patch. I really like what they did as far as not only the regular pumpkins, but the minifigure head as pumpkins. They have the pole for Buckbeat, and then they have a harness for Buckbeat uh, so that he is chained up for when uh, the Executioner comes and gets him. 
Uh, all in all, I, I really like the overall look and feel of this, uh, this little mini build. Uh, it really does look good. All right, guys, so taking a look at the main build right here, uh, I actually really like how they did this build. They have some really nice texture on the walls as far as the, uh, the pop-outs. Uh, the roofing is really great. It looks amazing. These doors are epic. My only wish uh, as far as these doors is that they were actually printed pieces instead of... Uh, Instead of stickers, I do like how we how they incorporate the build and and build out this section here. It's actually uh, sideways or upright from the build, uh, but all in all, it looks awesome. I'm going to flip it around here to the end or to the back end of the build, and it actually has some really great details. This is another reason I picked up this set. Uh, so on this side, it's very basic and you know, nonchalant in regards to uh, what's in it. We have Hagrid's desk. Um, I understand why they did it that this way because if you wanted to bring Hagrid in, you need space because he, like I said, is a uh, a minifigure that's bigger than normal. So you, of course, need the space for that. Uh, so I get why they left that open. Uh, he is reading a newspaper at the desk, and he's got a nice little candle. Now, taking a look at this side, uh, I wanted to get close to this side um, just because, as you can see, there is a lot of detail within this set. So, obviously, you have a tan egg right there in the fireplace. So as you can take a look, you it's hard to see, but you do have a tan egg in the fireplace warming up, hoping that it'll be a dragon. Uh, you also have <coughs> uh, a play feature with a light brick uh, showing that off there, which is really cool. You just push down on the roof a little bit, and it highlights the egg, which is awesome. Uh, you, of course, have the pink umbrella. Uh, that Hagrid has, as well as a shovel, uh, then a nice little uh, love seat, um, a chair with some tea, or a table and chairs with some tea, and then, of course, you have the accessories up at the top there for cooking. So, all in all, really great uh, look and feel to this set. A lot of great details. Uh, that is another reason I picked up this set because I took a look at it. And in addition to wanting the Buckbeat and my, you know, another one of my uh, Sig Fig torsos, I was really happy that there was a light brick in there and it has some really great details in it. I mean, you could easily take those details out if you're not a Harry Potter fan, use these uh, towards another build or expand on this build if you want, something along those lines. It's very easy to do. All right, guys, so there you have it. Those are the uh, pieces and the set for set number 75947, Lego Harry Potter, Hagrid's Hut, Buckbeat's Rescue. So again, you have a great uh, Buckbeat, you have some pretty decent minifigures, and a nice little Hagrid's Hut. So hope you guys like this stuff. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you next time on 36 Bricks. Hey Brickheads, Scott with 36 Bricks here, and I just want to give a special thank you to all my Patreon and YouTube members. It really does mean a lot that you guys are investing in me and my channel, and I am super excited that you love everything that we're doing on the channel. So thank you guys so much. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you like my content and want more, you can sign up with my memberships on both Patreon and YouTube. And we will see you next time on 36 Bricks. Ooh, this one's cool. Check this one out. I agree, that one's cool, but this one's awesome. Ooh, I like this one. I just can't stop watching. Well, I like them all, and I'm going to subscribe. Can you do the same? Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on 36 Bricks.